Hi everyone, I'm Leia, and I am here with the one and only Shandel M. Tellis, who is very excited to answer all of your questions. Ready, Shandel? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. The first question is from Rena, and she wants to know, what made you want to start singing and songwriting? My father had a studio in our house growing up, so I would just go into the studio, put on a pair of headphones, and sing my heart out. How, how young were you? Um, probably five, six, wow. seven. And I don't know how I sounded, but I just kept practicing <laughs> until I got a little better. But I really enjoyed it. Good for you. And what about songwriting? So I started really writing songs when I was about ten. I think I've written some camp songs when I was a little bit younger, but official songs, like ten years old, wow. about school and friends, you know. Yes. I wouldn't sing them now, but, <laughs> but I was writing. The next questions are from Sophia. She says you know her. Sophia was a boss mitzvah girl in Florida. I went um, in the summer and it was really, really wonderful. Hi, Sophia. Okay. <laughs> and she wants to know, what's the most amount of people you've ever performed in front of? So I think the biggest show I've ever done was this past circus with, I had the you know opportunity to perform with Keen Eret and Leah Forster, which was really, really incredible. I really enjoyed it. I believe there were maybe over a thousand people there. Yeah, Leia? at least. Something like that. You were there, so yes. maybe you remember. Yeah, maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred. So it was nice. A nice big audience. That was fun. I know a lot of you have been asking this, especially at your shows. Where and how did that guitar come to be? Oh, my guitar. You want to know about my guitar, yes. huh? Okay, so I like sparkles. I don't know if you can <laughs> tell, but I, I really no like kidding. sparkly things. You know, jewelry, of course. I'm a girl that loves jewelry, sparkles. So, um... I, I decided that I wanted to bedazzle my guitar because I love rhinestones and the guitar is pretty plain. And in Israel, I put some butterfly stickers and a few rhinestones on my guitar, but it definitely wasn't it wasn't enough. So this time around, two years ago, I decided to cover my guitar in rhinestones. So I ordered some on eBay, about um, how many, a couple hundred. I started putting them on my guitar and it wasn't enough, so I had to order three more packs. So in total, I think I used about 5,500 rhinestones. Wow. Yeah, put them on by hand, one by one. With, all by yourself. Yes, all by myself. Yeah. With just glue and a glue? tweezer. Special glue. Wood glue. Okay, good. It was a little bit risky. Right. Um, it took about three, two, three weeks, and a lot of, you know, bending over, back pain, and, you know, sticking oh. on those rhinestones, but... Dedication. Oh, yeah. That's dedication right there. But it was worth it. Yes. Because it's really fun to perform with. It's beautiful on stage. Thanks, Leia. So that's the story behind my guitar. Yeah. <laughs> now you know the secrets. I actually just set up a website, cafepress.com slash shandelontellis. And you can get um, jewelry, teddy bears, purses, <gasps> really Shandel lots of different... Shandelontellis purses? <laughs> yeah. So lots exciting. of different stuff. And it has the change design on wow. it. Wow. That's so, so exciting. That's really, really fun. Lots of fun accessories, so definitely check journals, it out. The journals. journals. So. Do you want to start your own songwriting? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> that's a good idea. So what is the website one more time? So it's cafepress.com mm -hmm. slash Shandel and Tellis. And Cafe Press is spelled C-A-F-E-P-R-E-S-S. -S. Excellent. Check it out. Khani wants to know, what's it like for a firm woman, especially so young, to get into the entertainment field, and how does your community see your career? Wow, that's a really good question, Khani. Um, in the beginning, it was really challenging. After my first year in seminary, I actually released my first CD before I went back for a second year, and some people told me they didn't want to sell it, nobody buys women's music, and it really frustrated me because I was all excited to share my music with the world, and people kept shooting me down. Oh, you know, this concert is for like, a certain type of crowd, we don't know if your music is the right match for that crowd, but Baruch Hashem, it worked out because now the CDs are in stores everywhere around the U.S. You can go out and get Heart and Soul and Change or either one of them if you want, and I've got to perform in shows in Brooklyn and all over the world, Israel, Florida, Canada, LA. LA. What's it like to have um, one of the first female music videos in the Jewish world out? It feels really good. <laughs> I was really nervous to do it because I know I really, you know, want to be modest mm -hmm. and my videos are private online on YouTube so you can't search for them mm -hmm. unless you go on my website which says women only everywhere. So Excellent. I think we got that covered. Wonderful. And it has how many views does it have now? So the, the second video, yeah, The Light, which Lay directed again, which she yes. did such a fabulous job. Um, Baruch Hashem, it has over 10,000 views in just a few months and that's 
while being on private. It's so wonderful. yeah, I'm really happy that people are watching and Good. I just want to show girls that being from is amazing and you can have a great time and you can be colorful and modest at the same time and I just want to help you know any teenagers or women I mean I want to help everyone really and I want all women and girls to be able to enjoy the music but specifically people who might be struggling a little bit or mm -hmm. you know searching I want to show them like this is great I love this you know and yeah. I struggle also that's why I write my music but but again see you know we're all in this together mm -hmm. and and I just want to show women and girls what, what real light and beauty and connection is. Um, what's your favorite kind of flower? Do you have a favorite? So, um, in high school, I would always draw, I think they're called hibiscus flowers, Ooh. those like Hawaiian flowers. I would totally love to go to Hawaii, maybe that's why I keep trying them. And we were actually close to mm -hmm. doing that, so maybe soon we'll Anyone be showing Hawaii. Anyone out there in Hawaii that wants Chandel? Aloha! Yeah. <laughs> we'll come out there, just let us know when you want us, and we'll be on a plane and come oh, over. Yes, definitely. I know you have a new song about friendship. That's is that going to be on the third album? Yeah. So I actually just wrote a new song called "A Friend," and one of my friends called me, and I was having a really, really rough day. Toby Schleifer, actually. <laughs> Hi, Toby. And and she really just made my day, made me feel so much better. And I was just thinking, like, Baruch Hashem for friends, because even if you feel lonely sometimes, come on, you have friends. Even though sometimes I feel like I don't. Of course you do. We just get down sometimes. And, and I want everyone to know that they have friends and I can be their friend even if I don't know them yet. I would love to get to know them. So I just want girls to realize how special and worthwhile they are and people want to get to know them if they just give them the chance. If some girls out there want to see you in concert, what can they do to make that happen? So it's not so hard, right? You can speak to your you know, schools, mm -hmm. you can speak to your teachers, principals, or your camp directors, or your, you know, the Chabad Shluchim in your community mm -hmm. if they have events in our Chabad house, we can make it happen because thank God that's how we've gotten a lot of shows. People send in a request on my website or you can also call 323-345-7172 for concert bookings. So again, shandelontelis.com or that phone number that I just said. Mm -hmm. And you can also leave a comment on my website, watch the music videos, Spread it around. Yep, sure. yep, friends. Definitely. And stay tuned because album number three will be out sometime soon. We can't wait. I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say that. Thanks, Leah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you, Shadel, for answering all the questions. No problem. And don't forget, <laughs> go to cafepress.com slash Shadel and tell us for some awesome goodies. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.